one thing just to be a millionaire who was dabbling around in something, but she was not a dilettante. She was the real deal. She knew her stuff, and she was regarded as one of the foremost criminologists of her time. She's creating dollhouses, you know. That's a little girl's thing. Not really. But I think she was easily dismissed for that reason. Here is a woman who today, in my mind, unquestionably would have been a detective, who wasn't allowed to go to college, who wasn't allowed to get a degree. That it wasn't seemingly work for a woman to be involved with, with crime and bodies. She should be known as the patron saint of forensic medicine of forensic science as we know it today because there truly was nothing going on in the States as we know what a medical examiner is now. Very few women actually got into the detective branches and the glass ceiling was very, very much lower and thicker than it is now. That just, I think, really indicates the magnitude of respect that she received from the law enforcement agencies. criminal investigation, she turned that around and made it a much better thing for all of us today, and I think it's kind of gotten lost. People still don't get it. They don't get what she's done.